great state of Wyoming. Woo Last Colorado morning. Was a good one. We were out in the middle of nowhere last night. Welcome back to another episode of Working for the Van. Kate's driving, Mark's passenger. Travis is still in the back. He has never driven, nor will he ever drive the van. New tires. Are chugging along. We are less than 20 miles from the Wyoming border. Uh, heading back into town right now to grab some caffeination for a big day. Today is Saturday of Labor Day weekend, so it's a busy day everywhere, but we are pulling a little bit of a long drive. So, gonna be a good one. Look at those mountains, so hazy. So our new tires have these things called rock ejectors built into the, or the, the I guess the tread design has a rock ejector style design or something like that. Uh, I don't know enough about all terrain tires to tell you anything more than that. However, it's interesting because like, so we were just on a really rocky road and now we're back on a highway and you can hear douche, 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 rocks just flying off the rocks, hitting the wheel well. So it's nice to know that the rock ejectors work, in my opinion. You just said rocks flying out of the rocks. The rocks are flying out of the tires. The rocks don't fly out of the rocks, guys. Not yet, at least. Uh, up here in northern Colorado, where we are is fairly, like, a, I'll say it's fairly close to like a desert almost. It's very dry, it's very sandy. Walden, Colorado, uh, about 20 miles from the Wyoming border. I don't think there's really anything between here and Wyoming. It's just so cute. It's so small. Main Street is like, what, two blocks long? Yeah. There's are stuck a, in a different decade. Different bars, a couple saloons, an inn, Family Dollar, a couple coffee shops, a couple gas stations, everything you need for a small country town. We got ourselves some caffeination because we're not digging the instant coffee route that we've been doing for coffee right now. So we're gonna change that soon. Look, they have burritos and they have coffee. It's everything you need. Shall I give a quick explanation of where we are going and where we're heading? We are roughly, let's see, here's a map. It's so sunny, so you probably can't see anything. Let's see how this is gonna work. We're like right uh, here-ish right now in Colorado. Today we're trying to get up to almost to the Grand Tetons because essentially in two days, the lows in Wyoming are like 10 degrees, nine degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, um, and they're getting snow. Montana, however, north of there, is slightly warmer. Lows are in like the high 20s, low 30s. A little bit of snow, mostly rain. So we're trying to get up to Montana essentially before the snow comes through Wyoming. Originally, we were planning to spend more time in Wyoming. However, the weather has other plans. Maybe we'll dip back down, maybe we won't. So we're gonna try to hit Yellowstone National Park essentially, I think, tomorrow morning, maybe? Tomorrow morning the plan we shall see what how, what how that goes because labor day weekend as well so sleeping bag update so last night was our first night sleeping with that new sleeping bag the verdict is that it's phenomenal. Kate was saying she didn't wake up once. I woke up a couple times, but that was just because of Travis. I was in shorts and a t-shirt. 
It was in the 30s last night. Duo sleeping bag is the, is a new van life key. I was mostly concerned about not having enough space, just to, like feeling too confined. But the thing is huge. Yeah, I the think that's the smaller of the two. Yeah, yeah, there's two sizes. We have the smaller of the two. It's crazy. State of Wyoming! Woohoo! We went in right here, right on 125 North in Colorado. We are officially in Wyoming. Wyoming. Let's go. Entering the unknown. Do you enjoy the unknown aspect of van life? I think, I think we both like the unknown part of everything the best, the spontaneity. Just not knowing if things are gonna work out, if things aren't gonna work out, what's the weather gonna do, what is, how are the spots gonna be, and it's just, yeah. We're really just kind of winging it, and it's really just very fun to do. Population, 563,000. Wow, wait, really? Wyoming has the lowest amount of people? Uh, any state. It's the smallest population. And it's huge. Yeah, Wyoming has the smallest. Let me put the window up so you guys can hear me. Wyoming has the smallest population of any state. It's ranked 50th. And land area is ranked 9th. So it's the 9th largest, but has the least amount of people. The van has never been better than it is today. Fact. Passing through Riverside, Wyoming and uh, had a little population sign, 52. 52 people, 52 permanent residents in Riverside here. Pepsi, don't pass this gas. Wyoming is a pretty cool place so far. We think we just saw our first antelope. Is that what we were determining? I don't know. I think it was an antelope. I'm gonna Google it, but I think it was an antelope. And therefore, Wyoming is already delivering on its uh, wild promise. Look, there's like 200 cows over there. Maybe. Just cows everywhere. Update on the wild animal, it was 100% an antelope. Good evening all. Wyoming night update. Basically, we were planning on parking right in front of the Grand Tetons. Got to the road that, that we were gonna go down. What was it called? Shadow Mountain Road. Yeah. Shadow Mountain Road. Sign this sign. There's a sign out front that says, attention campers, all sites in here are filled. 
try here, here, or here for other dispersed options. We're like, okay. So we kept going and we found one, found something good. So this will work. We're flat ish, flat enough. Beautiful views. Horses down there. Aspen's turning yellow. We've been here for maybe an hour. We already cooked, ate, put stuff away. So we're in like active grizzly bear country right now. Um, there's actually bear, fresh bear poop like right down over there past those horses. So we wanted to cook and get all that stuff done and over with before it got dark so we could be in the van while the bears come out. Today's drive through Wyoming was breathtaking, awe-inspiring. I don't know what the word is, but it was really wild. No pun intended. We saw, what, 20 antelope? Yeah, 20 antelope, cliffs, canyons, valleys. We actually, I didn't realize we we're gonna go through Grand Teton National Park, but we did. So we really drove right past the Teton mountain range and saw like all the peaks, so cool. I already walked up the road here to check out some more spots. I didn't find anything, but two deer, two deer came running across the road. Scared me so much. I just, all I heard is something run through the woods. Scared me. It's about all I got from here in Wyoming. Long drive. It took us like six hours to get here, maybe seven. I don't know what time I left. So we're tired and we're gonna wake up early and go to Yellowstone, I think is the plan. Like super early. Long day in the van. But we have a double sleeping bag, so we're gonna be super warm. Um, and basically, like I said earlier, like we really have to kind of run through Wyoming. Originally, we were planning much more time here, but there's really cold system coming through with some snow. And the lows here are like in the teens, so we don't really feel like dealing with that. And the lows in Montana are more like in the 30s, and that's that's you know, 30 is twice as much as 15. So we are gonna go to Montana and soak up that 30 degree warmth by Monday. It really does feel wild here in Wyoming. It really does. The Tetons were just so cool. There's also the most bugs here that we've encountered since New Hampshire, and that's no fun. We kind of forgot the bugs existed in Colorado. We really didn't run into many bug issues while Colorado, actually until last night, which was when we were most closest to Wyoming. So here we are back in bug country. The tires are fantastic. We had to take a bit of a rough road to get up here. Tires are so solid. We're so, so stoked on the tires. So stoked. The van has been a joy to drive the past two days. So we cannot wait for more miles. Miles and smiles. We just spent about, what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes staring at a fox who was literally five feet outside of our van at one point. Travis wants to go say hi to him. Just kind of walking around, stalking in the meadow, hunting. We saw him do like a, the four-legged jump thing. No grizzly bears. We've been adamantly staring out the window for half an hour looking for grizzly bears. Nothing yet. And it's getting dark, so probably nothing tonight. Well, that's uh, that's gonna do it for us today. Night one in Wyoming. Probably last night in Wyoming for right now. Basically, the plan is to wake up super early, drive through to Yellowstone, hang out in Yellowstone for the morning, and then go north into Montana. I think is the basic plan. We'll see if things change, but that's the current nighttime plan. But yeah. So that's all we got. We'll see you guys uh, in the morning for some Yellowstone National Park. New National Park. Travi. Travis has uh, been also actively staring outside. More so for bugs, but alrighty. Good night.